Alright, question number 15. Diagram 7 shows two particles A and B move along a straight line. At instant t equals to 0, particle A and particle B move off from point M and point N, respectively. The displacement from point M for particle A and B is given by, so they give you the displacement formula for each of the particle. Okay, so let me write here. So for particle A, the displacement formula is um, t cubed plus 4t squared plus 5t. And then you got displacement formula for particle B. This one will be t cubed minus t squared plus 4t plus 18, respectively, such that t is time in seconds okay um yeah that's it okay so question a find the initial velocity of particle a and b so this question uh question a they're asking for velocity so how to find velocity you can find velocity by differentiating the displacement formula okay so we're going to find va VA is, you differentiate the uh, displacement formula. So you get 3t squared plus 4, uh, sorry, 8, 8t plus 5. Okay, what about the velocity for particle B? So you can differentiate t, 3t cube, uh, 3t squared minus 2t plus 4. Okay, so you've got two of that. Now they're asking for initial velocity. So that means what? T is equals to zero. Okay, that's what they're asking for. So you just have to substitute. So when T is equal to zero, the velocity for particle A is going to be five. Right? Because here becomes zero, here becomes zero. Only thing left is five. And velocity for particle B is going to be four. Okay, wait, let me write the unit. So four what? Um, this one is in uh, meet, I think this is in meter per second, right? Wait. T is time. Yeah, this is meter per second. So m s negative one. Okay, so v b is equals to four meter per second, right? All right. So that's how you solve a. Now question b. Find the distance traveled by particle A and B at the instant they collide. So here's the thing. At the instant they collide, what we can do? What can we find? We know that at the instant the two particles collide, they will be at the same displacement, correct? Because they'll be meeting each other, correct? So we want to find the time in which both of them meet, okay? So because we are looking for the time we know that they have same displacement so we use the we can say that the displacement of a is equal to the displacement of b okay because both of them met they collide so that's where they met so we just write t cubed plus 4 t square plus 5 t equals to t cubed minus t square plus 4 t plus 18 okay so we are going to simplify this t cube t cube you can cancel off and then t okay here you got t square and t square so you get 5 t square and then here 5 here 4 so you get t minus 18 equals to 0 okay so we're going to simplify this i mean uh, factorize you will get 5t minus 9 and t plus 2. Okay, so from here we know that t is equals to 9 over 5 seconds and also t equals to negative 2 seconds. So this one you have to reject. Okay, there's no such thing as negative time. So only this. Okay, so that means at t equals to 9 over 5 seconds is where these two particles meet. Okay, so you want to know at this time, how far have 
these two uh, particles travel. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. We're going to see from t equals 0 first. When t is equals to 0, okay, we know that particle A, how far they have traveled. When t equals 0, of course, the particle A is also 0 lah, because you see the formula. When I substitute t equals 0, the displacement is 0, right? So when SA becomes 0, so that means he's at a fixed point, okay, at point M. That's where they started, point M. Okay, so this is where particle A. But at t equals 0, when you substitute into particle B formula, what do you get? When you substitute into particle B formula, you get 18. 18. 18 meters. So that means they did particle B didn't start from point M. Where he started? He started from, let's say, point N. Lah. Let's say here is N. This is particle B. So they're saying what? This is 18 meters away from M. Okay, let's okay, 18 meters. Then we want to substitute when t is equals to 9 over 5. So when t equals to 9 over 5 seconds, you can substitute into the first one. This you will find that the distance, the s uh, displacement is going to be 27. Point 792 okay you just substitute into the equation here you get 27.792 meter okay so that means at this time the particle a traveled this much okay when you substitute into the second formula this one what you will get of course you will get the same one lah because we say they are equal ma, right we just form this equation they are equal so that means both of them met at 27.97 uh, 7.92 meters at this time. So of course the SB is also going to be the same. Okay, it's going to be the same. But the question asking how much distance travel, right? So the from here you can compare. You see, ah, uh, SA the particle A traveled from zero meters to 27.792. So you know that. The distance traveled for, okay, this is particle A. Ah. Particle A is what? 27.792 meters. Because why? They started from zero and ended at 27.792. But for particle B, did they travel 27 meters? No. Ah. Because why? They started from 18 meters, ended at 27.792. So you have to minus 27.792 minus 18 meters. So your answer is 9.792 meters. So particle B traveled lesser. 9.792. Okay, particle A traveled 27. Okay, now. Uh, so that, that's all for question B. Yeah? Alright, question C. Calculate the acceleration for particle A and particle B immediately before the collision occurs. Okay, so they ask for the, the acceleration, right? So acceleration is what? You just have to differentiate. Okay, I use red pen. Huh? So question C. We want to find acceleration. So acceleration is the differentiation of, you just have to di differentiate the velocity formula. Okay. So acceleration for particle A is going to be 6t plus 8. Okay. And then acceleration for particle B is going to be uh, 6t minus Okay, so let me erase this first. So I'm going to space here. Okay, so now the question is asking, find the acceleration, calculate the acceleration immediately before the collision. So before the collision means what? They collide at this time, right? So they're asking for what is the acceleration when t is equals to 9 over 5 seconds because this is where they collide. Okay, this is where they collide. So, 
you have to just substitute lah. So a, the acceleration for particle a is going to be six times nine over five plus eight. So the answer is eighteen point eight meter per second square. Okay. Then acceleration for particle b is going to be six times. Eh, sorry, yeah, correct. Six times nine over five minus two. Answer is eight point eight meter per second square okay so that's how you solve it